This is the future. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to adjust the handbrake now as you guys can see this Runex has got calipers and I had a sneaking suspicion that the brand brake system is inside the hub so it's got a dual braking system it's got two brake pads or brake shoes and brake pads and another guy told me it's impossible and then I saw the video yesterday on a uh, old uh, camera and camera is using exactly the same system so it definitely has a dual system so our job today is to remove the tire remove the caliper remove the disc and see how the brake shoes look like and if we can adjust them so let's do that so first things first remember to put your car handbrake on although it's not high put it on put in first gear loosen all your nuts this side as well as this side raise your car with the jack and remember to put your stands in for safety we'll do one side one side okay okay guys so this is where the adjuster is you take out this rubber pluggy this screw driver and then you adjust the brakes it's a good idea just to open it up quickly just check if they're all right clean it out maybe wash it a bit clean it and then adjust it and then in future if we know what the block looks like you can just adjust it here because I have I don't know what this looks like inside it could be finished for all I know so let me take this out and show you what the unit at least looks like remove the caliper it's quite simple you have a 14 millimeter I'm just focus 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 14 millimeter bolt here and you've got another one down there just really uh, loosen the nuts and you can just we'll remove the caliper okay guys once the caliper is off leave it lying on top of the arm or I saw that another guy did this he took a piece of wire he made a hook and he hooked it on to here because you don't want it to hang on the fuel line you don't want to put tension on the fuel line okay now to get this off it's quite simple get two 13 millimeter bolts Put one in this side and put one in this side and then you pull them equally so I know some people just put in one but then what happens if you put in one it's gonna start pulling out you know skew you want it to pull out evenly so you take your spanner and then you turn it maybe three turns three turns three turns three turns until the whole thing comes out equally okay and there we go guys this is your your hub and there's your brake shoes for your handbrake the car doesn't brake on them this is just purely for the handbrake to keep the car stationary so if I can adjust it up a few millimeters that'll suffice so I'm going to clean this out now let me wash this and clean this and then um, see if I can adjust it up a bit if I cannot adjust it anymore if the adjuster is at its max, at its max then I'm definitely gonna have to buy new shoes. Why does this phone keep on focusing out of the bloody focus? Why? Why? You make my videos look cuck. Stop it. Okay, I've uh, cleaned it out. I'm just letting it soak. I'm using um, clean green, a degreaser, just to clean it. I know guys use carb cleaner and they use brake uh, fluid to clean, but honestly, it's just dust. There's no reason for for that. So I think a little bit of soap and water does wonders. I just want to clean and see how much a pad is left before it reaches the metal. And I see it seems like there is still some adjustment space there. We can still adjust it a bit, we'll see. If I can adjust it just like uh, three or four times up, that should do it. Guys, right, for adjustment, as you can see, it's still turning freely. But for adjustment, what I've done is, if it's two teeth up, the hub will not go on. So I made it two teeth looser or two or three 
splines looser so I can just slip it on and it can still turn freely by hand. I don't want to adjust it up too much because otherwise it's going to bind or it might burn the brakes. So if I'm going to adjust it one or two teeth up it's going to definitely not fit on the brake over the brake pads anymore. So I think this is good enough. All that remains now is to put the caliper back, put the wheel back, then we're going to go to the other side. And uh, for reference, uh, on a Toyota normally, if you want to know if the handbrake is correct, you must be able to pull your handbrake up uh, for only five clicks. No more than five clicks. This thing pulled up totally to the top. That's how far uh, down it was. So if you can get between three and five clicks, that's adequate. But we'll check it now. Once I've done the other side, we'll do the click test and see how it looks. Hey guys, here we are again on the other side. It went actually quick. So remember what we said? Put your two 30 millimeter bolts in and then turn them uh, evenly. I think you're gonna be able to see what I'm doing. Hear that snapping sound? It's the brake coming off. And that's all you need. It's just that first snap. Then it comes off uh, quite easily. And that's it. It's off. Okay, you guys can see this side looks much better than the other side. There's a bit more shoe on the front one than on the other side. The other side was a bit less. It was almost on the metal, but not quite there. Back one, again, looks good. It's like it's breaking more on the front one than on the back. Uh, that also tells me that the other side was adjusted up higher than this side. It was breaking more on the left than on the right. That's why the shoe is off less. So we're going to try and adjust this one exactly the same. And for quick reference, you can see here's your adjuster now. Here's the splines I was talking about. I got confused on which way is up and which side is down. You know which side opens up and which side closes. So I've noticed that if you can turn it by hand very easily, well, not now, it's still dirty. But if you can turn it loosely by hand, that means you're adjusting it down because you've got the spring that helps to helps you to pull close. If it adjusts difficultly on the other side, then you know you're adjusting it the right way. Or the other way that I found that nice, if you adjust it uh, uh, downwards, it adjusts open, upwards, just loose. But you have to figure it out for yourself. But I found out now that if, if, I, if I adjust it and it starts turning easily with my finger, it means that I'm adjusting it down. In the opposite direction, you'll feel it's quite difficult to adjust it by hand, then you know it's, you're adjusting it in the correct position. Okay, so I'm using uh, pliers to adjust the adjuster. I'll show you now. And if you guys were ever wondering, why do I show certain steps on the one side and certain steps on the other side? It's because I want to try and force you guys to watch the entire video. I know, I'm a scoundrel. But how else am I supposed to get my views? I cannot show you everything on one side, you know. Adjusting it down, opens it up. Adjusting it up, closes it. But like I said, if you turn it by hand and it starts turning easily, you know you're closing it. And you don't want to close it, you want to open them up. Okay, let me quickly adjust this. Okay, this side only needed to be adjusted like two turns. To show you how the adjustment is, or the fitment, I can still push it over. The adjustment is correct when it doesn't just slip on. You have to kind of push it over and you must still feel it gripping a bit. It should still turn freely. See, biting slightly onto the shoe, not too much. But you must still be able to take it off without any issues, okay? So, that's how I adjust mine. Okay guys, the wheels are back on and tight. I almost forgot to put this caliper back. I was putting the wheel when I realized, shit, I must probably put the brake caliper back, hey. So both wheels are on, it's tight, it's in, it's on. Shall we do a, a click test? Let's see if the handbrake is adjusted. And if the handbrake is good, so let me just take this out. The handbrake was pulling up to here, it was going all the way up. So you want it 
no more than five clicks. I think eight max, but normally five is your sweet spot. So this goes like one, two, three. It's already tight. Four, five. This car's going nowhere. I think the handbrakes is sharp. It's much better, definitely. Uh, another way to test it, I think we can probably start it. Put the handbrake up and see if the car, if the, the back drops. But this for me is already 10 times better than it was. So, yeah, I'll do the start test. Then you know what I mean of what I mean. I you start the car, put it in the first gear. Release the clutch slowly and feel if the car is dropping. You know, like when you do your K53 license test and you need to pull away from an uphill, you feel your ass drop and before you release the handbrake, that shows your handbrake is working as well. But for me, the five click test is more than adequate. So, again, thanks guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and till next time, cheers. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za. We can go straight to my podcast if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon. You'll be stay taken straight to the Anchor podcast page where I do my podcast. And remember, when you go to my YouTube page, there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel. Um, and remember, if you have any comments, please feel free to drop me an email. And on my YouTube front page, there is now a PayPal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.